There's guys with guns everywhere, okay? <laughs> like, everyone runs to their cars, or there's, you know, very... <laughs> And we are back, you are chatting with John P. And today we have the Honorable Federico Talks Watches Honorable? on what the I? channel. Uh, people actually send packages to him that way at DelrayWatch.com. And that's actually what we're going to be talking about. So that's why we have Federico, my business partner, on with Delray Watch. For those of you that are not familiar, we buy, sell, and trade pre-owned watches. And we had a big watch show and we're going to be talking about it as well as some very cool pieces we picked up. Uh, but first, what are you wearing? I always want to know. Uh, today, Speedy, the Speedmaster, the limited edition, on a um, Hodinky strap. <laughs> uh, okay. But not purchased from Hodinky, purchased from the guy that makes them. For Hodinky. For Hodinky. <laughs> Got the underground hookups, DelrayWatch.com. I've actually, I'm wearing one of those straps too. We'll talk about it in the story. We were nutting about these straps, at least I was, it's part of the story. Um, but I'm wearing the JLC Triple Cal on this beautiful Tiffany tealish blue uh, style strap, so I love this thing. Are you still trying to sell that thing? I was, but now it's on this strap, and I don't know, man. You know me. <laughs> In you know, and out. We're watch dealers. Things happen. And so what I want to do for you guys, because I got a lot of questions, right? Like, I got a lot of questions um, from viewers and from people, and they just wanted to know more about the show. It's kind of mystical. It's magical, you know? And for a lot of guys, you know, they don't live in major cities. They don't have access to boutiques. And when they hear something about a watch show, everyone was messaging us, like, can we go? Can we not go? Well, here's the thing. There, there's many, like, watch shows yeah, yeah, yeah. out there. You know, there's Watch Time. Uh, there's Wind Up. You know, those are shows... For the public, these are watch dealer shows. Right. Uh, so the one we went to is called IWJG, International Watch and Jewelry Guild. It's members only. Right. And they have them, what, like seven, eight times a year? They have them too many. I think they're going to start pulling them back a little bit. Because they do Miami, New York, Vegas. L.A. Los Angeles. Now they're having a Dallas. Now they're having a Dallas. And basically, every watch dealer yeah. goes to all these shows. So right. we just had the one in Miami, so we didn't have to go anywhere. But I always go to the one in New York. You know we got to go to the one in Vegas. <laughs> a lot of familiar fa faces. All the big guys are there. A lot of the guys you know, you know, the celebrities yeah, like in the, the industry. The, the big dealers. Then you also have the shows that are not IWJG. Right. They're separate. You have them in Hong Kong. Uh, you have them in Bangkok. You have them in Turin. Uh, the Munich Gem Fair, which is also watches. I mean, they're, oh. they're all over. There's there's maybe 20 shows a year. We try and go to at least seven or eight. <laughs> and actually, I'm just thinking about it. So when you go there, you have to go really early, right? Like all the dealers, you, if you want to get the good stuff, you know, international sellers, you, you, you need to get there early. And so Fed and I get there very early, but he beat me there because he was a little more excited than I was because he really likes to find cool stuff for us at Del Rey. And he's, he's eating a breakfast sandwich or something like that. What were you eating? Dude, I went. I got there, and they had the spread. So I went and picked up a bagel. I got two cups of coffee, and I put a banana in my pocket for later. <laughs> and so he's like, go, go up there. Get yourself something. So I go, and then the lady, she comes over with, like, a little swipe um, checkout kiosk thing to charge me. And he's, he's like, oh, the breakfast is free. And they charge you, like, $25. <laughs> well, because all these shows are at, like, hotels. <laughs> So uh, I, I didn't know we had to pay. Dude, we spent like $500 just to go to the show. I figured true. they'd throw in a bagel for free. That's true. But also to Whatever, that point. You, you paid. <laughs> a lady never found me. So. It's kind of like nickeling and dime though because there are there's literally millions of dollars being exchanged on a handshake in this room in about yeah, one and, hour. And yet parking is $25 <laughs> and coffee is 4 bucks. Uh, uh, and you got to swipe your credit card to use the bathrooms. <laughs> like, it's <so> awful. <laughs> anyway, um, so we got there, we got going, we picked out a lot of things, you know, like, Fed, he runs, he knows exactly what he's looking for. Well, let's explain a little bit how it is. Yeah, so, let's do it, let's do it. So basically, it's a huge, like, conference room, like, it's a ballroom, and it's full of booths. And, <laughs> and remember, guys, these are all dealers, and they're all dealers there to do business. So there are no questions, there are no pleasantries that's right that's you right. elbow people out of the way you shout sold you negotiate oh. you don't ask questions like what year is it from what year is it from get the hell out of my way give me your money who are you imagine you know, a like, room full of international spoiled kids but they happen to be 40 years old and they all dress like they're 13 with a trust fund <laughs> yeah, yeah everybody's wearing easy's uh, like, uh, and supreme and 
And it's just, yeah, it's, it's the thing is there, everybody's there to conduct business. Right. Right? So there are no questions, there are no, uh, you know, manners, and everything's done on a handshake. Millions of dollars, because no, one, no one's there with cash. Right. So what you do is you go, you know, you, you pick a package of, let's say, 30 grand, you shake the guy's hand, he gives you the watches, and you're expected to right. wire him or, right. or give him a check that doesn't bounce. It's all honor code. Because in this industry, you burn someone once, That's it's over. finished. <laughs> and luckily we have Fed, because with the way that I dress, you guys see me, I'm wearing t-shirts, I don't look professional, but luckily we have Fed, the most discerning of watch dealers. <laughs> yeah, in a, in a, rough, in a, in a uh, Brooks Brothers polo. Uh, but speaking of that, though, here's some pieces. We have some pieces on the table here, guys, um, of some things, and to speak to that. So, for example, we'll go through some things, but this first one here that I have is an IWC Mark 12, okay? And this is one... Uh, Mar- yeah, Mark 12. Yeah, Mark 12. it's Mark 12. And this, and this has a jaeger culture movement, and for any old person that, um, that might not know, you might confuse it with something like this, even though it's more modern, and, you know, this is just an, an IWC, um, you know, Pilot 36. Pilot 36, yeah. And so they look basically the same, but obviously a lot of differences. But you might not know this one has a JLC movement, and you, you can't be asking the dealers. You have to know what it is, and you have to oh, buy yeah. it on the spot. The you dealer have to know. know what it is. And also, anything you buy, there's no service, like... So all of these passed our inspection, but half the stuff you buy is broken, and you ex- and they're, you're expected to service it yourself. Oh, dude, you're losing me here on my own channel. Like, honestly, this like when, when we bought this watch, I'm because I love this watch, guys. Check mm. it out, DelrayWatch.com. This this is a rare watch. Oh, it's, this I mean, is. It sounds super rare, but it's very difficult. It's getting very difficult to get. It's 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 an insider watch, guys. Watch. It is. It's a and, Jaeger movement. And thankfully, you know. Hans had to do very little to it. It was running very, very well. Oh, yeah, by well. the way, all of this stuff is available, but it is currently going through service. You might have to wait a day or two yeah. until Hans goes through this and does and his the magic. The only thing they guarantee at the show is that it's authentic. They of don't. Course. They don't guarantee it's running. They don't guarantee it's water tested. That's your job as a dealer. This is a wholesale transaction. Oh, you need to bring a loop. Yeah, you need to bring a loop. You, you <laughs> need to be prepared. You know, if you get a watch for a thousand bucks, you need to be prepared to spend two, three hundred. Oh, who is that guy? He, he, we're, we're, so he tries. He's trying to sell us a first Omega. Was it a first Omega in space? Some Speedmaster, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he pulls out the paddock and he's like, "My friend, it's the same movement." <laughs> and I'm like, "The Lamagna in the paddock and the and the Lamagna, the 1861." <laughs> Oh. It's uh, listen. It's it's just a bunch of hard hard pushing sales guys is, is what it is, and it's uh, it's a little tough. But we picked up some decent stuff. We got that. We got that show, Mark show them something. What's the first thing you picked up? So this is the, I bought this literally within thirty two seconds of walking in the room. It is a Gerard Perigo chronograph, the ones made for Ferrari with the carbon fiber dial. A very inexpensive watch. It's it's not not expensive. I mean we we did for not what pay it is. a lot for what it is. It's, you know, it's under, well under $3,000, but it's a GP chronograph. Literally, within 30 seconds of the room, I saw it, I'm like, how much? She's like, boom, I'm like, sold. Well, what's the retail? What's the retail on that? Pretty I, high. I don't know what the retail was. It's been the better part of two decades. So if you can't stretch your budget into an actual Ferrari, this is probably the closest you can get. Besides yeah. Maserati. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, of course, shout out to... Our boys, uh, our boy Takeshi, right? Yeah, Takeshi. So, uh, Japanese dealer, he comes to every show in, in Miami, and we've seen him twice in Osaka. Uh, we get a lot of our Omegas from him. And, you know, we, we couldn't leave the watch show without a Speedmaster professional. Absolutely. Because you buy, you guys buy him like hotcakes. And honestly, most of them come from Japan. The Japanese have thousands of these. It's amazing. It's like, what are they doing there? I, I don't even know. They're, it's, it's, Rolex, like a, it's, all, it's like Rolex only. It, it's Rolex and an Omega treasure trove. And what about this one? Bell and Ross. Now, we're usually not the biggest advocates of Bell and Ross, but these really have a, a big foul. Well, because that watch was from Bell and Ross's first run. It was uh, made in 1998. It has the papers dating it to 1998. Wow. And you know what? It's not hot horology, but for like just over a thousand bucks, you get a pilot's watch with creamy tritium loom. Like, come on. This is something you can wear, tear, be proud of it, and beat it up if you want to. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good watch, but it's not a super expensive watch. And it's also pretty uncommon. Uh, is it an investment piece or is it gonna shoot up in value? No, probably not, but it's 
very, very unique. I, I kind of really like that one. Absolutely. Oh, and we cannot forget. And there's other things too, guys. We're just showing you a little sprinkle our favorites, here. Our favorite. Now this, this I did. We touched about this a little bit. This mm -hmm. I did. What, what is this, Fed? So it's an IWC Pilot 36 yes. that you found from an Argentine dealer. You don't speak a word of Spanish. <laughs> I go over and I'm trying to negotiate with this guy in Spanish. I'm speaking Russian to him. I don't even speak Russian because <laughs> uh, I wore a shirt that had Russian letters on it. So I had to like, deal with the curse of everyone trying to speak Russian to me. By the end of the day, I was like, oh, he pees the it. Is that a problem? I, I don't think YouTube like, speaks Russian. <laughs> speaks Russian. <laughs> Russian collusion. So, and then you bought it. Oh, yes. with, I wasn't even there. I was chilling with Takeshi or something. And you picked it up. And I don't even know how. There's no English or Spanish involved. Yeah, that's the thing. We haven't... Well, that's why, um, you know, we've got an unwritten rule, guys. Like, Fed, he's the modern guy, and I do the vintage. Kind of just like our, our channels here. But this is just the watch I knew. And yeah. so typically, like, we're like, come on, you got to consult with each other. Just because that's what we do. You know, we divide and conquer. But this was just one. I know someone out there, for a guy that has a small wrist like myself, this is the watch. 36. I mean, I love it. I probably... Because when we buy watches, even though it's for our business, we're a little biased. I might have looked that one over because, honestly, I will never wear <laughs> this a This wouldn't fit your pinky. I mean, it's it's a small watch. But the blue dial, I mean, I'm happy we picked it up. It's a beautiful I'm, watch. It's, it's something that I know if I saw it, I would have just looked over it. Right. Just because even though we're selling it and it's a business, I, I wouldn't be able to wear it. So. And that's what we do every show, guys. So once again, we, we did have some other requests. You know, we found some other watches for people. We found a Batman for someone. We found a couple of other watches. Yeah, but the Batmans, for example, like... I was much. It, it was... It, we'll be lucky to make 270 bucks on that Batman. Right. I mean, I mean at these shows, don't think you're going to walk in and get Hulk's Batmans and Daytonas. <laughs> I mean, dealers aren't stupid. It's basically like 50 bu it's basically the same price as Chrono 24. We tried to for write Rolex. we tried to write checks for things and they were trying to take Fed's Hulk as payment. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey bro, how much for the Hulk? Get out of here, dude. Oh, it was it was certainly a sight. And so guys, the other thing is the security, like by the way, these shows you know, there's no funny business. There's guys with guns everywhere, okay? <laughs> like, everyone runs to their cars, or there's, you know, very... Well, because the last time, those guys from Hong Kong got robbed on I-95. Right, but I'm just letting everybody know so they know. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. there's guys with guns. You know, like, there's no wording that says there's a watch show. Everything's very covert. I mean, you can tell by the stereotypes waiting in line. Yeah, you can tell because <laughs> everybody's wearing Yeezys and either, wearing, like, a Pepsi. It's either a sneaker conference or a watch show. Yeah, it's true. It's <laughs> true. Uh, so it, it's kind of an interesting thing. Anything else that, that you think we should tell them? Because I feel like... I mean, yeah. I, I, listen, I, honestly, I, I would say this. The watch shows are interesting to go and meet people, you know, uh, meet other dealers, you know, talk about, like, hey, how's business in Boston? You know, how's business in Japan? But honestly, the internet is kind of the future. I mean, I... These shows get smaller and smaller every time we go. And we've only been going for two years. <laughs> That's true. Um, there, it, it is kind of a lot of artifact, you know, old-timey, you know, watch dealers that go there. And it's good. You know, it's okay. It's, it's a mixture. And, you know, we'll see as time goes on. Yeah, absolutely. Next yeah. show is New York in February. <laughs> awesome. Well, I think that kind of wraps it up here, guys. Just wanted to shoot a quick video, talk to you, let us let you know about some of the things we found. And if you're not familiar, kind of let you get your uh, feet wet in kind of what we do on a day-to-day -day here at Del Rey. Like and subscribe if you like this. Check out Federico, Federico Talks Watches. You probably already subscribe. Um, but if you don't subscribe to me, make sure you subscribe to me. That's more important. <laughs> and, and of you, course, check out DelRayWatch.com for all the new goodies that we picked up at the watch show. Absolutely. Thanks again, guys. You've been chatting with John P. with Federico Talks Watches. Ciao. Good. Oh. <laughs> Take care. Take care. <laughs>